Hello everybody, Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs and Fashion Toppings here with another thrifted flip. Now, this is gonna be a fun little home decor item that I'm gonna be putting on my table. I love farmhouse look and feel. And I got this for $1.99, solid wood. I can put my napkins in here, put my silverware in here for, you know, just to showcase on the table. It's gonna be really cute. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to give this a little bit darker tone, brown tone, using Dixie Belle's Voodoo Gel Stain, which is a water-based gel stain. And I think I might be coming back in afterwards and adding a little bit of the white of Voodoo Gel Stain. But check out this. I am definitely giving it a farmhouse feel by applying then one of the farmhouse transfers. I think I'm gonna be doing fresh eggs on here. And that'll really, really give it a farmhouse feel. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I've already cleaned this with white lightning, um, rinse it with water and let it dry. And so I've got all the cleaning residue off of it. It's nice and clean. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the stain. It's really easy. First thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna shake up your stain, make sure all those pigments are mixed together and pour it on a plate. It doesn't take much. So I just have this a little bit on the plate. That's all I'm gonna need. I'm gonna use an applicator pad or you can use a t-shirt, you can use a sponge, you can use pretty much anything you want. You can use a brush. I have water here. Uh, and the reason I have water is this is raw wood and I want the stain to be taken evenly. I don't want it to be splotchy where some areas grabbed it harder than others. So I'm gonna quench the thirst of the wood grain first. I'm gonna add water to it. So my wood is just a little bit damp. It's not soaking wet, it's just a little bit damp. What that does is it quenches the thirst of that really porous, dry grains of the wood. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the gel stain on my pad and it's just gonna give it a little bit cleaner look. There's some areas that's missing its finish. So by adding a little bit of this on here and wiping it back, I'm just gonna give it a cleaner look. Right now it looks a little shabby. So see how that cleaned it up? See an area, and I'm just gonna wipe it until it looks a little even. If I want it to be darker, I will let it dry because the stain is being absorbed by the wood. If I want it darker, I will let it dry and I'll apply another coat. Um, or we also have black voodoo gel stain um, or gray. You can add other colors to it. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. And you can see, see how much, you can see the handle. There we go, there's a side view. See the difference that it made? It's really gonna clean this up. This won't take long to dry either. Yeah, I'm gonna apply it over the entire piece and then I'll let it dry for a couple hours and then I'll come back in and I'm going to, um, I'll have to get a paintbrush in there. I will come back in and I will do the white over it if I want to. I might like the look of just having the, just the darker brown. I'll decide when I get it all done. But I can then add the white if I want to get some white down in these crevices, you have lots of options. This is a water-based product. So you can put a wax, white wax over it. Um, you can leave it as is. You can embellish it however you want. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is, since these are all water-based products, which is what we wanna use when applying a transfer, I don't wanna use an oil-based product, um, but I'm going to let it dry for 24 hours and then I'm gonna apply the transfer. So, Okay, now it's dry. Doesn't that look so much better? Look at the, the bottom used to be the light color. It looks a lot better now. Looks much cleaner. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the um, Voodoo Gel Stain, the water-based gel stain in the color white, White Magic. I have a couple different versions you can do. We can just do a dry brushing with a um, just a simple little chip brush, dipping it into the White Magic and doing a dry brushing over it. Simple dry brushing. Okay, see it looks kind of funny, but I'm gonna take some water to it and a pad. Okay, let me get some water. Mist it slightly with a little bit of water. And then I can wipe it. To make it, let's see, I need to go a lot more on the top. So it's not solid coverage. This is some water to help it move. Using my pad that I used earlier. Just slide it back and forth. So the grains are grabbing it. 
and it's very subtle. See how it's very subtle? I'd even it out a little bit, I'm doing it from the side. I'm just keep adding where I want more or less. Miss it with some more water. Wipe it back. Okay. Kind of giving you a little bit of a whitewash look, but wiping most of it back so just that white is sitting in those grains and leaving some streaks. And it's only been about an hour and a half since I applied the brown, which is the tobacco road, and I'm not reactivating it. So there, kind of giving it a gray whitewash look. And then I can put a transfer on that, so I can do that. Kind of liken that look. Or I can go on a lot heavier and then and wipe it back, not be so much of a dry brush look. And if I change my mind, I'll add more water and wipe it off. So this time I'm gonna add a lot heavier. See, I'm adding it much heavier. And I can go for more of a whitewash look. Very flexible to use this. Okay, see how I'm getting full coverage now? Full coverage. And then mist it a little bit more. I'm barely misting it, by the way. I'm just barely missing it. Okay, now let's wipe it. You want it, when you're wiping back, you need to go in straight lines. You don't want to see any curves in your in your lines of white. You want it straight right and left. See, see that it gives more of a whitewash look. Which looks good with the brown, but I think, I want to show you those two different options, but I think I want to wipe it more back more than that. So I'm gonna take a clean side of my little pad here, and I'm gonna wipe back even more. Cause I like, kinda like that dry brushing look. Okay, so there we go. See how flexible this gel stain is to use? It's a gel stain, but it's water-based. So the water helps me manipulate it and move it how I want to. There we go, that's how I want it. See, it's got that whitewash look. That's what I want. So I'm gonna repeat that around all the sides and then we're going to come back, I'll wait until tomorrow. I want this to set for 24 hours. I'll wait till tomorrow and then I'm gonna apply the transfer. So the next step is the transfer. Okay, so now it's time to put the transfer on. I think this is gonna be super cute. Cleaned it up really well, so let's go ahead. I decided I'm gonna use these cute little chickens, roosters, whatever they are, yeah. Chickens and roosters here. And on one side and then the other side, I'm gonna do the fresh eggs on the other. But there's lots of options on this set. There's little uh, barns and there's large barns and cotton signs. So these are the ones I picked out for here. I just thought this would be perfect. See how cute this is gonna be? Okay, so the first thing is to decide placement. I'm gonna put this right here in the center. I gotta take this white backing sheet off first and make sure I'm somewhat centered and straight. I hope that looks centered. There we go. So I got it. Press it down. Then I'm gonna use a little burnishing stick and I'm going to rub the image to get it to release from the plastic sheeting. Isn't that cute? Now next you want to burnish it. That means to rub it with your fingers, especially around those edges. That helps get rid of that little halo or that clear little outline around the picture. Rub really well with your fingers. That helps make that halo just disappear. You can, you can hear how loud I'm rubbing. Okay, there we go. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, so on the other side, I'm going to put fresh eggs to kind of go with the theme. And I'll do this in fast motion since you've already seen it once. I'll do this one real quick. Now 
she's done almost. I just gotta seal her, isn't that cute? Now normally you see me with transfers, I always seal with clear coat and satin, a water-based clear coat and satin. But this time I'm gonna show you a little easier option. I'm gonna be using a spray wax. This is Dixie, uh, Dixie Bell's Easy Peasy Spray Wax. It dries in 30 minutes and it cures in six hours and it's water resistant. This is how easy it is to seal your transfer and your whole piece. You shake it up really well and then you spray it on. You take a cloth, a t-shirt, a paper towel, a sponge, whatever you want, and just spread that clear coat out. Making sure that's all covered. And that's all there is to it for sealing it. It will dry to a matte finish, so you'll be, I mean, it's not even noticeable that it's a change of sheen whatsoever. So it does dry to a matte finish, but look how easy that was. Isn't it cute? I'm gonna go ahead and stage this and put pictures at the end. Now don't forget to like, subscribe, that, and turn on that little bell so you're notified every time I put up a new video. My name, once again, is Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs and Fashion Toppings. I also do free painting tutorials every Friday night over on my page on Facebook at AJ's Vintage Designs as well. And so, fun, cute project. It was only $1.99 at the Goodwill. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Thank you.